Hello, how are you guys? Uh, this is Jaman from Future IT Vision. Uh, today I'll be show you. Uh, I mean, I will recap from the last video. Uh, last video I show you how to do parameterize uh, method and uh, uh, assertion. Uh, and also today I can show you guys how to do the valid but or positive positive test cases. Last time we show the invalid test cases. So let's see how is guys uh, how we can do that. So over here. You have a two test cases valid uh, verify invalid login verify invalid login with invalid email. So this is our code uh, with invalid sign in. So how why we use in the perspective and why what is the benefit? The one of the benefit you can see this method this element we find out we can use for reusable purpose. How now we can guys see that? So now before that I'm gonna go copy this. And I'm gonna say it valid sign in. Okay, everything will be same. Just we know need this assertion. This one is here. We know this one here because we have to do assertion. So now valid sign in. What you have to do over here? Just uh, sign out from here. So uh, last time I told you create a create a account. After create account, you have valid sign in. So I have already my over here my email which is already registered and I'm password so sign in after sign in you will be see here welcome message so our verification will be that valid login with uh, sign in like we put the email password and submit button and you will be see the welcome message so I'm gonna take this over here and I'm gonna take the CSS for that copy CS selector and make sure that is it's a mm, it's like a one of one so I'm taking this one and I'm going to create one at find by CSS equal okay and then web element sign in welcome welcome masses so this is our so we should able to see this sign in welcome masses sorry so now we copied here so we put here it should be displayed expected and actual has to be same so value sign in so login test guys I'm gonna copy this test and now we're gonna say here valid login and over here we calling the valid valid sign in which is we created here okay so now I'm gonna go back here and provide my valid current share which is already created so my valid current share is here so this is my valid current share so now what will be happen uh, if I run the test, uh, it will be uh, sign in button click, then send key email and send key password and sign in button submit click, and then you will be get this welcome message, which is assertion equal. That will be done. So let's see, guys, how we can do that. Uh, run the test. So this is, I think, invalid test. Again, invalid test. Now, valid login test. Boom. Now, it's just too pretty fast. That's why maybe you cannot see. So, over here, the valid login is also good. So, our test is pass. So, now you know, guys, how we do positive test cases. So, it's very easy. Copy and paste. But you have to know, guys, what to copy and what to copy. So, now, same method, 
same uh, sorry same uh, web element we use last five web element four web element we use for also belief so now you know that how you created such a way your web element and this web element you can use for reusable purpose that is the purpose of our automation make your life easier not harder so guys uh, today we learn how to create a positive test cases and use the reusable web element for our uh, new method so that's it for today guys see you soon